Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and configure PostgreSQL on your Ubuntu operating system. PostgreSQL or Postgres is a relational database management system that provides an implementation of SQL querying language. So let's see how we can install Postgres. So first of all, open your terminal and the first command which we are going to give here is the sudo apt get update command so just give this sudo apt get update command and it's going to update all your repositories on your uh, ubuntu operating system and after this once this is done we are going to install postgres right so postgres uh, installation is really easy the configuration part is a little bit uh, you know tough so once again to install Postgre, I'm going to first of all clear the terminal and then I will give this command sudo apt-get install and then Postgre SQL. And we are also going to uh, add one more package here, which is Postgre SQL contrib, which is the package that adds some additional utilities and functionalities. Okay, so this command is going to install Postgre SQL. And then we are going to give the next command, which is postgresql contrib. So C O N T R I B. Okay. And then press enter, which is going to install postgresql. Now it's going to ask you that it's going to take this much amount of uh, disk space on your system. If you agree, just press Y and press enter. And then postgresql will start installing. And once this process is done, we will see how we can configure PostgreSQL on our system. So now the installation process is complete. So I'm going to clear the terminal once again. Now let's check where the configuration files of Postgres are located. So the configuration file of Postgres are located at this location. So just ls etc and then Postgres. And then the version you have installed, hopefully it will be the version starting with nine. And in my case, the version is 9.3. Uh, at the time of making this video, this version is little bit older because I'm using uh, the older version of uh, Ubuntu. But in your case, I think at the time of making this video, this version is around 9.5 or 9.6, okay? So you may see the different version in your case here right and then main and then just press enter and you will see a bunch of files here the main configuration file is this file which is postgresql.con file right so now let's check uh, whether postgresql is running or not and how we can check the status of postgresql okay so just give this command service postgresql for the command to use with uh, PostgreSQL. And you can see uh, these are the command which you can use with PostgreSQL. So start, stop, restart, load, force reload, and status. You can use with uh, the service PostgreSQL command. So let's use the service PostgreSQL. And let's say we want to know the status, right? And I'm going to just press enter. And it says PostgreSQL is online and the port for the PostgreSQL is 5432 by default. Okay. So if you want to know the status or if you want to restart or stop or start the Postgre, then use this command, which is service PostgreSQL status command. Okay. Now uh, to use Postgre, the default user for Postgre is Postgres. Okay. So to, uh, for the first time, whenever you want to use Postgres, then you need to use, uh, this, uh, user, which is Postgres. So to use this, you just need to write sudo su and then Postgres. Okay. And then press enter. And now you can see here, you are logged in with the Postgres username, right? So in here, you can see I'm highlighting uh, this Postgre user from here. And that means you are, uh, you know, logged in with the 
username Postgres, which is created by Postgres installation for you, which is a root user for Postgres, right? Now, in order to, uh, you know, use some commands for Postgres, there is a command line tool, which is PSQL. So just give this command PSQL and then press enter. And then you will see this kind of, uh, you know, shell. And here you can, uh, you know, use all the command which you want to use with PostgreSQL. So let's see what are the databases present in the Postgre by default. And for that, you just need this backslash L and then press enter. And you can see these are the default databases uh, which are present by default in Postgre. Now to list out the user, you can use uh, backslash du and then press enter. And this is going to list out all the users which are present on the Postgres. So by default, you can see the user of Postgres is the only user which is by default created by Postgres. And you can see uh, this user. And this user have uh, the super user privileges who can create roles, create DBs and replication also. Okay. Now let's see how we can change the password of the default user, which is Postgres. So to change the password of the default user Postgres, you just use uh, this command, alter, and then the user, so user, and then the username, and default username is Postgre, right? So you just need to write uh, Postgres here and then with password and whatever password you want to give here. So for example, I want to give the password test one, two, three, and don't forget the semicolon here because it's very important here. Okay. And press enter. And once you see alter role output, then you know that the password for the root user is changed. Now let's, uh, you know, create a new user. So it's not a good practice to use, you know, or create database with the default user. You need to, you know, create a new user. And then from that user privileges, you can create uh, your new databases, right? So let's create a new user. So to create a new user, you just give the command create and then user and then the username for example user one i want to create a new user with the username one and then with password and then whatever password you want to provide here for simplicity i'm going to just provide uh, test one two three uh, in your case you may want to uh, you know provide the password which you can remember and which is secure for your database okay so the username is user one and password is this one and then press enter and once you see this output create role then the new user is created so you can list out the users once again by using backslash du and now you can see the user one is also added to your list but you can see there is uh, no privileges to this user because we haven't provided any privileges to this user. So let's provide some privileges to this user. So let's make this user a super user. So just write uh, alter and then user and then the username, which is user one in our case with super user. Okay. So just write super user here and then the semicolon and then press enter. And now it says alter role. Now, once again, when we give backslash tu command, you can see the attribute for this user is added, which is super user, right? Now let's create one more user and then we will see how we can remove the user. Okay. So I'm going to create user two with the same password and then let's list out the users. Now we have three users, right? So let's uh, say we want to remove the user two now. So we will just say drop and then user and then the username, which is user two. 
and then the semicolon and then press enter and it says drop role and once again list out the users and now we have only two users right so this command can be used to remove the users now there are many commands you can use with this uh, interactive shell which is psql right now in order to know all the possible flags and command you can use with psql i'm going to open the new terminal here and i'm going to just write man psql okay and then press enter and you can see here the short description of this PS, psql command how to use this and the long description and then the options you can use with this psql command so you can see you can uh, use so many options with this psql commands and at the bottom you have uh, you know you can see so much description here right so you can uh, just uh, go through it uh, whenever you want to and then uh, whenever you want to use some command you can uh, just refer to this man page for psql and when you press q key it's going to quit okay now the last thing i want to show here is the pg admin client so on ubuntu if you are on ubuntu you will be having the access to ubuntu software center so you can see this icon for the ubuntu software center just open ubuntu software center so once it's open just write pg admin here okay and then press enter which is going to search for this software which is, which says pg admin 3 at the time of making this video and then you just select this and then click install which is going to install this pg admin on your ubuntu operating system and once this pg admin is installed you can see here we are going to see how we can use it so just give your password for your ubuntu operating system and then press enter which is going to start installing and once this progress bar reaches 100 percent then we will see how we can use this pg admin so now the pg admin 3 is installed on my ubuntu operating system i'm going to minimize this and then i'm going to scroll down in my left hand uh, scroll bar and you can see uh, the pg3 icon here just double click on it which is going to open this pg admin and now here you can see uh, this kind of uh, graphical user interface to interact with your database right so in order to connect to the database you can just uh, click this button this wire plug kind of button is going to give you this kind of uh, interface you remember if you remember that the root user was the postgres user right so by default the uh, you know postgre listens on localhost so here you can just give uh, 127.0.0.1 which is the localhost you can uh, give uh, for example localhost name here and then the port we have already seen is 5432 the username is postgres for example for now you can use the other username also which you have created for example we have created uh, user underscore one so you can give uh, that user and the password of that user also right and then the password of postgres so if you remember we have changed the password of postgres right and we have given this password to postgres so just copy this uh, same password and then once again uh, go to pg admin and then give the same password here okay and if you want you can select the color i'm not going to select it and then click ok and this is going to uh, give you the save warning just click ok and now uh, your uh, pg admin client will, client will connect to the pg or postgresql database and now you can see we have the local host here and once again when you expand this local host we have the postgre user right and right now it doesn't have any uh, you know databases so you can create the databases from uh, this uh, psql terminal client also or you can create the databases and tables and schemas from uh, this pg admin uh, 
interactive uh, you know graphical user interface also okay and that we will see in some other video but for this video i would just wanted to show you how you can uh, install postgresql and configure it on your ubuntu operating system so i hope you've enjoyed this video please read comment subscribe and bye for now